A wide-ranging winter storm hit much eastern half of the country on Tuesday, knocking out power in many states and prompting closure highways, schools and government offices. Hurricanes threatened southeast more than 25 million people in the southeast. From Florida to Virginia, are under hurricane watches issued by Storm Prediction Center. Twelve tornadoes were reported in Florida, Alabama and Georgia on Tuesday morning, causing significant damage and prompting rescue crews in Florida's panhandle. Death reported in North Carolina one person and two others were seriously injured at a mobile home community in Catawba County. According to County Communications Director Amy McCauley, the area damaged, he said, adding that the National Weather Service was evaluating whether it a tornado. Major cities will see heavy rain flooding is possible in many major metropolitan areas, including Washington, D.C. and New York City, where two to four inches of rainfall are possible along the East Coast. Strong winds cause widespread power outages more than half of the U.S. population is under wind alert Tuesday, causing widespread power outages. More than 500,000 homes and businesses were already experiencing outages as of Tuesday afternoon in several states, primarily in North Carolina, Florida, Georgia and Pennsylvania, according to Tracker Power Outage.us. Up 12 inches of snow is possible from central U.S. to the northeast winter storm warnings are in effect for parts of Missouri, Iowa, Michigan and northeast interior New England. Widespread snowfall of 6 to 12 inches is possible, with some areas seeing even more. Snowfall will begin to taper off in the Midwest, Great Lakes and northeast on Wednesday. Travel delays and cancellations airlines canceled more than 800 flights and more than 4,200 were delayed. According to FlightAware data, some of these are due to grounding of the Boeing 737 MAX 9. But storms caused significant disruptions at airports in Atlanta, Dallas-Fort Worth, Florida and North Carolina. The forecast model shows where heavy rain and snow is expected through Wednesday. CNN weather state of emergency declared in Florida Florida Governor Ron DeSantis declared a state emergency in 49 of the state's 67 counties on Tuesday, citing the danger hurricanes, high winds, hail and flash floods. DeSantis said there have been more than 20 tornado warnings in the state so far, with four tornadoes confirmed on the ground. There were some injuries but no deaths during the severe weather in North Florida. According to Florida Department of Emergency Management Executive Director Kevin Guthrie, most of the injuries reported so far have been minor. Guthrie said, he said there were five trauma alerts in Bay County, where the most severe damage was seen. One of those injuries was a head injury. Guthrie said, Bay County Sheriff Tommy Ford said responders rescued people from structures in Florida's Bay County, where multiple tornadoes touched down and caused Signify.